it to my first vlog since moving to Spain. Um, I can't believe it's taken me this long to do it. Well, you know what? Actually, I can't believe because it's just been, it's been hard to get back into vlogging after so long not in the habit of it. Um, I think I've actually, even if I'm remembering correctly, started a couple of vlogs, but then I would do one clip like this and then forget I was vlogging and um, yeah, nothing more would happen. So if you're seeing this, that means I remembered to keep vlogging after this one clip um, and we got a vlog out of it. I've been thinking a lot lately about what I want, like what direction I want my channel to go in moving forward. I think this little break just, I don't know, made me think, okay, let's start fresh, let's think about really what type of videos I want to be making, etc. And I think my favorite thing to make on YouTube is when I just share what I'm working on. I love more structured teaching. I do enjoy doing that. I enjoy um, how much it helps people. I enjoy the responses that that gets. But personally, as a viewer, what I like to see is other people just sharing what the heck is going on in their lives, what challenges they're working through at the moment, what they're creating, what they're doing, just how they live in life. And so I wanna make sure that I'm doing more of that. So um, I don't know if that means more vlogs, more like day in the life, or I don't know, a video where I just sit down and talk you through a project that I've worked on recently, but that feels exciting to me. That feels like what I wanna make going forward. So hopefully you're on board for that too. Wow, my arm is getting sore already. I'm really out of practice. <laughs> If things are sounding a bit echoey, that is because I'm in this office of mine, which um, doesn't actually have that much furniture and stuff in it. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get a rug, I think, to try and solve this echo problem. Come look over here. This is where I was recording my podcast yesterday with Femme, and um, I've just shoved some like cushions from our outside seats on top to try and reduce the echo. Spoiler, it didn't really work because there's still all this space over here for sound to bounce off of. Um, this is a quick little sneak peek at my office. I'm not gonna do a proper tour until I feel like it's in more of a finished state, but you know, this wall here, I'm planning on putting all of this art up on. There is a lot of art sitting down there and I started to try and lay it out over the weekend uh, and didn't quite succeed at having something that looked, I don't know, gallery walls are difficult. You want it to look kind of, random but also cohesive. I don't know, still working on that. Um, this is my plant. Something I am currently working on is trying to get a more, um, what's the word? Automated, I guess, system in place for finding users to get on calls with for like user research, user tests. Something I only started doing this year, to be honest, is getting on calls with creators and sharing some of the pages of a marketing website and getting their thoughts on it. And it's been so useful so far. And you might've seen me doing this if you follow me on Twitter. Bing, follow me on Twitter, by the way. Um, you might've seen me put a call out for creators, anyone using email marketing, um, asking if you'd be interested in getting on a call and, and me talking to you and hearing your thoughts. That's how I've been sourcing creators to talk to so far. Um, because specifically I need people who don't already use ConvertKit because I'm testing for our marketing site. And if you are a user, you probably know a lot about our product already. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've been hitting the bottom of the barrel with people to talk to through that method. So I'm looking at this software called Ping Pong. Um, to set up some tests. So I've just been like writing a little introduction and setting up some questions as well. So basically if someone ticks that they already use ConvertKit, they won't be put in my test because I want to you know, talk to people to use something else. Um, and I've set it up as well so that if people say they use it at a company, that's their main method for email marketing, then they won't be put through either because I want to talk to people who are using it for themselves, not for a business, because that's like our more ideal user, I suppose. So yeah, um, I'll let you know how I get on with this. Good morning, it's Tuesday, excuse the way I look. I just did a workout um, and it's very hot today. Quick update on the user testing, the platform that I was testing out, Ping Pong. I don't know if I said the name or not, but yeah, that's the one I'm testing out. I've got a session booked and it looks promising. It looks like the exact type of creator who I want to talk to. And then I've got 
um, a bunch of other people, I won't show you my screen so that I don't like, you know, give away their personal information or anything, but there's a bunch of other people kind of in a queue who I could talk to. And the majority of them like look like they'd be worth getting on a call with. So I'm really excited about that. I feel like this could have solved my problem. Um, and basically what I can do is click allow booking and it'll let anyone from that queue um, know that I'm interested in talking to them and, and want to book a time for a user interview. So that's really exciting because yeah, like I said, this has been a main challenge for me is finding the right people to talk to. So to feel like maybe there's a place where I can count on to find the right type of person to get on a call with and learn more about, um, you know, the impression that our site gives. It's very exciting indeed. I have the first call in about an hour, so um, I will check back in and let you know how that goes. Okay, great. Can you tell me how you So that call went so well. I'm really happy and I feel excited that maybe I found um, a solution to this this issue and the tool is nice to use as well so I just like use the website itself to join the call and then if I turn around and show you a little bit of um, what I get in the recording was during it I could hit a little emoji at the side I could click like oh yeah he that hit on something for me that's an idea that sparked something at these different timestamps and then jump to this in the video so that I can be reminded um, you know, when, when I had that thought. It's just a nice way to take notes without really taking notes, I guess, throughout the call. So yeah, all in all, this has been an exciting day for user testing. And what I do next, my process is to essentially watch this video back at 2x speed and um, take a bunch of notes as I go. And then I publish them in Basecamp for my team to read and also just for me to have as well as a like a, an archive of, of the learnings. I also put anything, like any ideas, all those little places where I could click the light bulb of things that needed to change or whatever that I came up with throughout the call, I'll add them to a to-do list that we then will like act on and implement as well. Um, so yeah, it's been a, been a good day for user testing. Tomorrow I have a call with a different platform that I'm evaluating called Validately, I'm pretty sure is its name. So yeah, I guess tomorrow I'll let you know how that goes. This is the focus of this vlog is user testing. That's just how it turned out. Um, I hope you're interested in that. <laughs>
not showing up, having tech issues, etc. So yeah, I don't know, I'm feeling good about that. Right now, it is 7.30, but there's one thing that I'm gonna like force myself to do before the end of the day, and that is, let me show you my screen, one sec. Okay, so I have this page, <laughs> excuse the Pringles that I've been snacking on. <laughs> Um, this is a new feature page that I've designed to talk about our email designer and what's going to go in here is going to be like a video that auto plays. Don't worry, it doesn't have sound, but it's just going to like, you know, move through the features and basically show you how it works. Um, finishing this page has taken me freaking forever, like just making the examples for it, which I finally did earlier this week and then like refining these images here. So yeah, what I need to do now is I've set up the email. I'm gonna like turn these into bullet points and bold and some text, make a button and stuff. This thing I'm gonna recreate this uh, and record my screen as I do it so that that can be the example that goes in here. That's the idea anyway. So yeah, I've been procrastinating working on this for a long time. I'm gonna force myself to do this tonight before I sign off for the day. actually leaving the house today. I'm heading to a coffee shop to work this morning. Now that we live in a much bigger apartment, it's honestly, I don't feel as I'm like trapped and confined as I did in our London apartment where I like needed to get out every single day. So I've got to like, you know, encourage myself to get out more living here. I'm trying to remember my way <laughs> to this coffee shop I like, because I'm terrible with directions. And um, it's about time I started learning new city so I think I'm going in the right direction. This is a neighborhood called Rusapa. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's where all the like cool coffee shops and bars and restaurants and things are. So yeah. Is this looking right? I don't know if this is right. Nope, I think we're good. I recognize that street up there that I'm about to turn on to. <sighs> um, I've so far only been going to this one coffee shop to work at. I'm sure there are others in the city but um, I don't know, I've just been feeling like a lot of anxiety around going new places without knowing the language here and knowing how to talk to people. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of scary to be honest and I haven't been dealing with that as well as I thought I would because I mean I've traveled here lots on holiday but it's kind of different when it's your hometown and you've got to, um, you know, manage your way around in a foreign language forever rather than just for like the five days that you're here or whatever. So yeah, I've just been going to the one place so far. But I'm hoping that in future vlogs I will be showing you some different coffee shops that I'm working at. Hold me to that. shop work session. I got a user test set up in that um, other platform that we're trying. Mm, wasn't too impressed to be honest with the experience of that. There's a lot of bugs but I mean, we'll see how the results come back. Um, and then I did the write-up and evaluation of the user test that I ran earlier this week. So yeah, all in all good morning's work so far. I tend to start a bit later on Thursdays because I have meetings that go until nearly 8 p.m in Spain time so yeah I give myself some grace in the morning yeah on the way home now to finish out the work day for the afternoon before I finish out this vlog you might have noticed a little thing at the start of this video the little powered by Webflow in my intro and that is because something very exciting that has happened um, Webflow have come on board as a sponsor for my channel they do this for Ryan Seagal's channel Flux if you watch that you would have seen his videos say powered by Webflow if you've been watching my channel before you'll know that in the past Webflow have sponsored individual videos and those videos have been like about Webflow or like using Webflow in the videos if that makes sense so with this 
different kind of sponsorship, this more like patronage type of sponsorship. It means that my videos don't need to be about Webflow. Um, they're just like still gonna be whatever I wanna make them to be about, about life as a designer, you know, but just Webflow are there supporting me and helping me make them, which is really cool. Webflow don't review my videos or need to approve them or anything before I post them. All the content is completely and totally up to me. Um, you know, it's still my channel, it's just that they are now a patron, so they're paying me like monthly to support it, which is awesome. And they've also given me a discount code that you all can use if you wanted to try Webflow that'll always be linked in my description box. Um, this is like a thing we're gonna try for the next six months and see how it goes. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. I'm really excited about it because I'm a big fan of Webflow as a product, but also, and more importantly to me, as a company as well. I just think there are a bunch of great people on that team, and so I'm excited to like be affiliated with them in this way. So yeah, on your end, don't expect anything to change really, apart from that new little Powered by Webflow in the intro, and like I said, there will always be a link in the description where you can get a discount. But yeah, it's just gonna be my same videos as usual. Um, it'll just free up a bit of pressure on me because now I can afford to like hire help with them, like an editor, um, hire the animator who I use, Austin Sailor, to create a new intro for me and you know, fun animation stuff, that sort of thing. I'm heading home now and I have not yet looked at a map, but everything is feeling familiar, so I think I'm going the right way. This is this is a huge plus for me. Like I said, very directionally challenged. <laughs> I'm gonna end up this vlog here because I feel like it's probably been long enough already with all the talking that I've been doing. Um, I feel good about this. I'm excited to be back into vlogging, back into sharing little pieces of my life, especially now that I live in this new city. I wanna show you more of Valencia in coming vlogs as well. I know that you really only saw like a couple of these streets in that coffee shop today. Um, if you are watching this and you happen to live in Valencia, Please let me know because um, I don't really know anyone here. So yeah. Okay. Apparently they want to be my friend. I'm actually um, tomorrow night going to hang out with someone who I've met on Twitter, which is, to be honest, one of my favorite way to make friends. So yeah. And maybe I'll catch you up in a future vlog on how that goes. But for now, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good week. Let me know what you got up to down in the comments, and um, I will see you next time.